Hello everyone, myself Paula Mokwana, Assistant Professor of PC Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. A welcome to the session of satellite communication. So, in the last session we have finished chapter number 6, that is a space segment. Okay, so in today's session we are going to start with number 7, that is the earth segment. Now we know that there are basically two types of segment, earth segment and the space segment. The space segment includes satellite, okay, and the earth segment includes the ground equipment like uh, transmitting antenna, receiving antenna, telling, tracking, and command systems. All right. So over here, in chapter number seven, we are going to study what are the different satellite segment. What do you mean by receive only home base system, and what is a community antenna TV system? So, first of all, the satellite segment, that means what? A satellite communication is broadly classified into two categories, two segments. One is space segment, second one is the earth segment. Alright? So, the space segment that includes the satellite and the ground facilities like telemetry, tracking and the command. Alright, and the earth segment that we only includes the transmitting and the receiving earth station. Alright, now first of all, the receive only home TV system. What does it mean? It is basically the example of beach TV antenna in which we can see that there is a one antenna which is mounted on the terrace and the signal is going to be received by that antenna and it is going to be fed into a television which is inside our home through the setup box okay? with a wire medium. Alright? So over here it is a plan broadcasting which is directly to the home place receivers. We can also say that the direct broadcast satellite service. Alright? So on which frequency band we are going to use? Earlier the C band was used. That means C band means we know in different micro bands like L, S, C, X, K, A and K. Okay, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. L, S, C. C band has a frequency range from 4 to 8. Okay, so currently we are upgraded on the higher frequency that is a frequency band of KU that is having a frequency range of 12 to 18.5 gigahertz. Alright, so as the frequency is going to increase, we require the larger antenna that is having a diameter of 3 meter. But as soon as we are upgraded on the frequency range, as earlier it was C band, that means frequency is smaller. So it requires a less than of 1 meter diameter. 1 meter diameter. But right now we are going to use with the cable band. That's why the large antenna is used with the C band and the smaller antennas are used with the cable band. Alright? Which is having a diameter of less than one meter. Okay. Now, what is a block diagram? So this figure shows the block diagram of the receive only home tree system. Over here, you can see that there is a one antenna which is mounted on the top of our house, that is on the terrace. Okay that will receive the signal which is going to be broadcasted by the earth station okay? and or it can get the signal from the satellite view alright that signal that antenna we that we are going to use is parabolic reflector alright so it will receive the signal which is operated on the cable and is at 12.2 12.7 megahertz alright parabolic reflector is used the low noise amplifier, that is the LNA is placed between my setup box and my parabolic dish antenna. Alright, that is used to amplify the 
small signal and to improve the signal to noise ratio. Alright? So, as the signal is going to be amplified by the low noise amplifier and the signal to noise ratio is maintained, it is applied to again, this is the receiver or against the center box. Alright? So, this is called the outer unit, this is called the inner unit. Right? The first block is the amplifier, that signal will be amplified by this amplifier. Then, we are going to apply it to the filter or the converter, right? Then, 70 megahertz IF, right? That means, after converting the LO signal to the IF frequency, we need to pass it to the 70 megahertz band, right? And that signal is passed to the FMD monitor. Why? Because we know that the FMD monitor is used for the voice modulation and the AMD modulation is used for picture or you can see the video. This is for the video, this is for the audio. Alright? And resultant signal will be given to the TV. So in such a way that we can play the motion picture. Right? We can see the video and parallelly audio will be there. Alright? So this is Entire system is called the indoor unit, this is called the outdoor unit. So, AC volume of the system has a two unit. Alright? Now, as I have told you, the outdoor unit consists of this parabolic dish antenna or parabolic reflector and the low noise amplifier or we can say the low noise converter. So, the parabolic reflector is generally used with the receiving on antenna. Okay, why? Because we need to focus at the bullet table in such a way that it will go to the center box. Right? Apart from that, the frequency range is 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz, and we are going to use a 32 TV per FM, okay, with a 24 megahertz of band. And third, that we require the polarizer. What is the function of polarizer? So polarizer, polarizer will do to change the orientation. That means it can be switched from indoor to outdoor because of the polarization interval. That means are we going to use a left hand circular polarized wave or the right hand circular polarized wave or the horizontal or the vertical? So it is basically used for the switching. Alright? Now, the function of horn antenna. So this horn antenna will fit into the low noise block and that contains the low noise amplifier and the converter. And the low noise block it provides also a gain for the broadband signal, which is having a frequency of whether uh, if we are going to use C band, this frequency is a 4 gigahertz. Frequency if the band is uh, K band, then 12 gigahertz. So that frequency is converted into the lower frequency range. Why? Because that signal has to pass through the coaxial cable. And for that, my frequency should be lower. So it is converted by the low noise block. Alright, up and down conversion. So it is a low, so it requires a low cost coaxial cable for a feeder into the internet. It will use the frequency range of 950 to 1450 megahertz. Alright? Now, the inner unit. The inner unit consists of two tracks. First, first one is RF and second one is audio division. So, it is the same having the, 12, or the frequency range of 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz. But, the selected channel that we are going to select based on the 
remote that we have. Okay? So symmetry channel A is down converted to the IF frequency. Okay? In which we can achieve the higher gain. And for that, we are going to use the FN system rather than the vestigial side band. Right? So this is the receive only home tree system. Now the community antenna tree system that has the channel filters. This is for the even channel, this is for the odd channel. Two wideband receivers are there and 900 to 1450 megahertz frequency range for the from the outer unit. Alright. So instead of having a separate receiver for each and every user, we can do a one thing that all the carriers are going to be demodulated into a common receiver. Right? So that signal is applied to the controller. Or we can say, after completing the channel, we are going to combine the channel to combine it. Okay? This is the group of even channels, this is the group of odd channels. Okay? So the signal from the outer unit is going to be received by this fiber receiver and going to be filtered out and demodulated by these channel filters into a two parts even channels and the odd channels. Alright? So these channels are again combined into the standard multiplex to transmit the high channels to the subscribers. Okay? So basically a CAK means community internet system or the TV system. Alright? At well we are able to distribute a television channels or the programs to the subscriber via a radio frequency signal which is going to be transmitted through the coaxial cables, alright? Apart from that, we are able to transmit that digital light pulse through the hybrid fiber coaxial okay? So to receive the cable television at a specific location, we need a one a cable distribution system at a local place, okay? So for that we are going to use a coaxial cable, okay? for the customers bidding via the service drop. So what is the function of this cable company? So cable company's proportion portion of this wire usually enter the distribution box on the building's exterior. And the building cable usually distributes the signal to the walls to provide a different stream group to which the televisions are connected. Right? So over here we have finished the two topic that is a receiving only mobile system in the community internet system. We still have any doubt from this chapter number 7 that is the third segment. <coughs> you can ask me anyone in the video already. Okay, then. Thank you for your attention.